I was 33 and I had been married for just over a year. I was 27. It was one of those lumps that didn't go away. I felt like I was in a nightmare and that I was going to pinch myself and be able to wake up. Creating somebody's portrait is a powerful experience. Each portrait is unique, as unique as human beings. keep thinking about breast cancer and the challenges that the women had to go through. I always thought breast cancer was everyone gets the same diagnosis, everyone gets the same treatment, but it's not. It's very individual. When they looked at the genetic makeup of my tumor, the test said I was high risk. I had to get my mind wrapped around what that would mean to me. Our treatment plan was a full mastectomy followed by chemo because it was the most aggressive thing we could do and I'd have no regrets after. We did everything we could because we chose to. They told me I had very, very aggressive type of cancer and I will need a very, very aggressive type of chemo. And chemotherapy was the one thing that terrifies me the most. But my friend, she told me, Carmen, don't worry, don't worry. It's going to be okay. Let's go get the second opinion. And so I called a very well experienced doctor in breast cancer. And he says, I'm going to pick up a tissue from your tumor and do the state of the art test. Five days later, he called me, Carmen, I have good news. You don't need chemo. And I said, oh my God, I was so happy. I had just found out that I was pregnant, so I was excited to be a first-time mom. And two weeks later, they told me I had cancer. The oncologist said, you're gonna have to have chemotherapy, and I wanna prepare you. You're gonna have to terminate this pregnancy. In my gut, I said, I'm not aborting this child. Then I went back to see my breast surgeon, and he told me about this new mammoprint test. When my score came back, it put me at low risk. And my doctor told me, we're gonna make sure you see this baby come into this world, and we're gonna make sure you're okay. into the portraits. It's like a collective message. We together are here. We are not alone. I believe that no woman should ever doubt or regret the choices they make when it comes to their breast cancer treatment. I believe that the diagnosis of breast cancer produces fear. Knowledge sets that fear free. I believe that every patient should understand how their treatment can impact their quality of life. Yo creo que todas las mujeres que sean diagnosticadas con cáncer de mama deberían tener derecho a una segunda opinión. I believe that women are not cancer patients, but warriors, and they should not be defined by their cancer. I believe my future looks brighter because cancer treatment is finally becoming more personalized. I believe that every patient should have a voice in their treatment plan. I believe breast cancer doesn't have to mean giving up on the family you want to I have. I believe education is the first step towards personalized treatment. I believe in the power of the team to change the future of breast cancer. I believe patients have the right to make informed decisions. I believe that all breast cancer patients are unique and that their treatment should be as unique as they I are. I believe that Knowledge is power, and you are the best advocate for your body and yourself. I believe precision oncology saves lives. 